Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you how to play in a full playthrough for two players for Utopia. Um, this is currently on GameFound yeah. um, while we're shooting this video. So I'm not sure. I think it has a few weeks left. So by the time we post this, it will still have ample time left for you to back this game if this is one that you feel you might enjoy. Um, this is a worker placement game. Basically, you're traveling through time, through iconic times in history, and the winner is the one that completes three butterfly effect missions, which are these cards here. Um, I'll explain this more in, in a moment. So here is your the player board. In a two-player game, you do not use this part of the board at all. Those are time zones. So you only go up to time zone eight. So nine through 12 are not used in a two player game. These are used in three and four player games. Um, so you start out for setup. You have your time zones and you can see they're all color coded. Each one has six cards. They are two tech and two crew cards in each of, each of the decks. Each of the crew members have special primary abilities that you can use um, if, if applicable when you place the, the corresponding ship they control on an action. If possible, you can also do the secondary ability that's in the text on the bottom of the card. Um, they're, what, what are these called? The, I know those are knowledge disks, but this is their primary ability, correct? That's mm -hmm. called their primary ability. This is their secondary ability. So the primary ability are these symbols which match the knowledge disk here in the center of the board. And what you, when you choose a crew member from a time zone, you place it on your mat. Um, at the beginning of the game, we're gonna be choosing two crew members We'll be taking turns. So you would place it on the corresponding spot. So that's the cultural icon. You place it on your player map that matches that. And then you find that ship that is pictured there and they control that ship. And you also get to take two knowledge disks at the beginning of the game for each crew member that you choose. So we will be doing that in a moment. Um, but you will start out with two crew members, and then as the game progresses, you will be attempting to hopefully get all five of your crew members, but they actually cost knowledge disks. Um, to do your third one, you have to have two knowledge disks on the same um, primary ability symbol that's located on the card, or um, if you have a to do your fourth one, you have to have three of them. To do your fifth one, you have to have four of that symbol. They are some cards, like I had one uh, during our practice game that allowed me to use any of the knowledge disks to recruit a crew member. So they are cards, um, special, the secondary ability on some of the crew members that give you um, advantages that you can use during certain situations. So that one was nice to have because I wasn't limited to only having that particular knowledge disc. So each of these have four crew members and two tech, and you start out by pinning them on the matching square of the color for that time zone. They also have the time zone on them. Yeah, time zone one, time zone one. Here are the time zone numbers. Um, so you turn those face up during setup, and you want to make sure in a two-player game you have at least five crew members showing. If you do, don't have five crew members, then you have to take one of the tech, put them on the bottom of that deck, and turn them over. We do have one, two, three, four, five crew members, and the way I know that, they match the symbols here on the knowledge disks. The tech have different symbols. It's these two symbols right here for the tech. So that's how you know that they're tech, actually. Um, then you're gonna have your two alternative time zone decks set off to the right of the board. 
In a two-player game, we only use these two alternative time zones. In a three-player game, you add that one. In a four-player game, you add this one. We, but we're not using these. We only have one through seven. Um, there's one through seven C and one through seven B in each of those decks. And when you pull, you will use those when you complete a butterfly effect mission. This one, for instance, says move ship to 4C. So what that means is you will look through the pile for C, find 4C, and it's two-sided. So you get to choose which side you want to use, which one benefits you the most. And you place that side face up on that, on that square, and that, then you put your drone, can you put my little drone on the drone, on the drone symbol on there, and that shows ownership, that shows you own it. That doesn't mean that Anthony can't use it. He can definitely go there. That's an alternate time zone that can be used, but they are unstable, so as soon as another one in the sea, like if he finished a mission card that said, move your ship to 2C, then that one would go away and 2C would go there instead. My drone would be removed and his drone would go on it. Or if it was me doing it, my, new, my drone would go on the 2C instead of that one. And what that means is you can place as an action. So this is an action square. You can place one of your ships on that action and take that action. That one is a, was a knowledge disc. It was this one. So that means if the... If your ship came from, so this is the ship for that knowledge disk. So if you have the scientist, that's the scientist, and you actually put this ship on it, which the scientist controls, you would get two of those disks because it matches the primary ability. If you do any other ship, you only get one because the primary ability of the, of the crew that powers that ship is a different knowledge disk so you would only get one but the cool thing is if he but you get to do it twice I think if your drone is on there you get to do the action again so I would get to do it then and one for my ship and one for my drone if he lands on there his action can you put your ship on there then he would get to do the action and then I would also get to do the action when he lands on that because I own that that alternate reality at the at the time, so that's a that's the main benefit of those. It's it's an additional um, thing that you can do. So you also shuffle the mission, the butterfly effect missions, and you turn three face up. They'll always be three face up. And when you put your ship here on that action in a two player game, this is the only one open. This one is not open. It says three plus, so this one's only available during a three and four player game. So you would place your ship here, and that means you can choose any of the face-up butterfly mission effect cards to place on one of your slots on your on your motherboard, or it's called mothership, right? Mothership, which is your player board. You first place them face up until you've completed them, and then you turn them face down. The winner will have, as soon as someone has three of their face down, meaning they completed them, the game is over. And they have various things you have to do to complete them. This one you need four of the politician knowledge disks. You need two of the cultural knowledge disks, and you have to have your ship, one of your ships in time zone four. So what that means, there's two actions. You have to have it on one of those two actions that you can actually complete. So if you went here, you would get one or two of the cultural knowledge disks. If you had your ship here, you could recruit either a tech or a crew. Um, so that's the only requirements for to complete this. So once you complete them, you pay the knowledge disk required and then you have to have your ship in a certain time zone. And then this particular one, you would move to alternate time zone 4C and you would get to do that action and put your drone on that as well. And you would turn it over and have one of yours complete. So um, then 
That is big. And you got to make sure there's only one through seven in a two-player game. They have the time zones right here on the bottom right. So you would only use any any that are eight through 12, or actually be nine through 12, you take out of the game for a two-player game. And then the book describes how how many, which ones you use for the three and four-player game. And I think there's also a, there's also a solo version um, in the back of the book that you can do as well in this game. So that's basically the setup. You have your player map, which is your mothership. You have your four drones that go here. Um, and then you have your five ships waiting for you to put the crew members. And next we're gonna be choosing our two crew members each and put the corresponding ship and knowledge disc down there. When you recruit a member after, that's the only time you get knowledge disc is at the beginning of the game. When you're recruiting um, members through the actions, you don't get a knowledge disc when you place them. You'll be paying knowledge disc to acquire them. And I didn't talk about the actions. Let me talk about those really quick. So this one is recruit text a tech or crew. And basically to recruit the crew, you pay two of whatever the primary ability is. And you have to have that slot open on your mothership. If you already have one of that same primary ability, you can replace them with this one, but you can't have two. Um, the tech, let me find the tech on here. How do you recruit their tech again? I forgot how you do that. You have to... Um... I actually forgot how you do that. We didn't do that. We only did like three. I remember when it triggers. Oh, here we go. Oh, duh. You pay two scientific. That's why I couldn't remember. It's always two scientific knowledge disks to recruit the tech. Can't believe I forgot that. But that's how you recruit the tech. No matter what their ability is or symbol, it's two scientific knowledge disks to recruit them. And then what you do, once they're recruited, I'll just put it up here for now, even though it would go underneath. You put them, it says to slide them under here. Oh, you can't see. But you actually need, um, you actually need to be able to see the symbol and this because the symbol comes into play on the mission cards. Like this one, you need to have recruited one tech with that symbol. So you need to be able to see that. And when you recruit it, you pay your two scientific knowledge disks. You place your drone there to show ownership. And anytime you land a ship on either of these actions, in this time zone, and you own this, you be, you're you able to collect one of the two knowledge disks that are showing. So it's a bonus that you get from there on, at, there on out until you trade that in for a mission because it's a balance. You, you do gain resources, additional resources, but you also need those for some of the mission cards to complete them. Remember, to win the game, you need to complete three missions. So Eventually, you will more than likely be trading that in when you complete a mission. And when you do that, the card just goes at the bottom of the deck and you put your drone back on your mothership. Oh, sorry. And so um, that was the recruiting tech. Any of these symbols are all knowledge disks. And again, you get one or two. Um, this one is assassinate. You can assassinate one of the crew members of your opponent, or, and the only rule is they have to be, their ship has to be deployed on one of the time zones. You can't go after them if they're not, if they're not on the board. Um, in a three or four player game, you can't assassinate someone that's on the other assassination spot, but that's um, irrelevant in a two player game because there's only one assassination action spot. And of course your actions are um, however many ships you have, that's how many actions you have 
per turn. So that's why you want to keep recruiting as many crew members as you can, because the more ships and crew members you have, the more actions you have per turn. We got up to four, right? I had four. Did you have four? Yeah. We got up to four crew members um, when we were practicing, but we didn't actually, we actually, it was kind of late. So we stopped at two missions. We decided we were got two missions was going to win the game. So we would have definitely gotten the fifth crew member, I believe. Um, maybe. Maybe. We we had a lot of knowledge discs. Uh, you were assassinated quite a <laughs> often. I wasn't getting assassinated, though. Well, eventually you would be. <laughs> I assassinated him a lot. When you assassinate someone, they go to the limbo, and they have to pay either one knowledge disc of the same type primary ability as the sh the ship owner, or they can pay two of any type knowledge disc to get that one out of limbo. That's at the end of the round. You get an opportunity to do that. You also, um, when you assassinate someone, you get to take the first player token and you put your drone for that turn only. Say he was here and I assassinated him. This goes in limbo. I get to put my drone there for that turn and I get to complete whatever action if I can for that action spot. So I would get to take um, a, a knowledge disc on that one. And then at the end of the round, I'll be taking this drone back and putting it back on my mothership. And he will hopefully be able to pay a knowledge disc or knowledge disc to get his out of limbo. So he has that action for the next round. If he doesn't, it stays there and he'll be, he'll have one less action for the next round. So there's several benefits for assassinating, but um, the main benefit is to get that first player token because you get to go first. And you, as you can see, there's not that many actions to choose from. So if you really, um, and it makes them spend knowledge discs that they probably have planned to use somewhere else. So I think I covered everything, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're, I, um, I have the first player token, so I'm going to choose a crew member. Let's see. Now, they all have secondary abilities, that, so that's what we're just looking at. I'm going to take this one. And his secondary ability is I can take one of the three face-up butterfly effect missions from the mission control cards if I have an empty mission slot on my mothership. So anytime I use his ship, I can use that secondary ability until I have this full. So he goes here on the matching primary ability. This is Martin Luther King Jr. Um, is who I have. So it's, they're not, they're different um, famous um, people throughout history or either in the past or in the future. Some of them are probably made up. So I, I to, haven't really paid attention to I them. I flip this? Yeah. I flip this. Mm -hmm. So I put the corresponding ship and I get two knowledge discs of his primary ability. And he is a politician. And well, that's his uh, knowledge. He's actually an activist. It's his. So Anthony picked Neil, Neil Armstrong. So he gets two explorer knowledge discs and he finds that ship to put on his motherboard. My special ability is when you move to a recruit TZ location, you may pay one less science knowledge disc to develop a transport tech. And then when you, the first player gets to choose first, and then you go from last pair, last player to first for the second one. So he gets to choose his uh, crew member first. So, I do like Vikings. <laughs> Be sure and get your knowledge discs. And... So he, Freyus Eric Suter, that the. Mm -hmm. She's the shield bearer. Oh, okay. I'm going to get Leif Erickson. Um, he is an explorer. That's his primary ability. He's a merchant and 
His secondary ability is when you move to a trade. That's what the, I didn't cover that one. This is where you could trade knowledge disks. You can trade two, two of the same for any other two of the same. This one, his ability is it's, I can trade up to three knowledge disks of any type for an equal amount of any type. That's a major advantage because it's, they don't have to be the same. It's three for three of any type. So that's pretty cool. That would be, that would come in handy. Okay, so the rest of your ships you place on your motherboard in the storage area, along with your drones, and those are available um, once you recruit crew or when you recruit tech or assassinate, you would use those drones. When you recruit tech, your drones stay there. They do not get removed at the end of the round. You only remove the drones that are when you assassinated someone that are basically allowed you to do that action. Okay, so. Uh, my freight. Oh. She's uh, pretty cool. When you move to a TC location containing tech developed by another player, you gain the trigger tech free knowledge disk rather than the owning player. So if you have a tech, I get it if I use her. Do it. Does the other player get the tech when you land there normally? I thought that was only in the alternate. No, I get it. You wouldn't get it. But normally I wouldn't get it, right? When you land on it? Let me see. Triggering tech. If you had your tech. If it was your tech, yeah. If you had your... Uh... If you landed there? I thought I had to land there for me to trigger it. You don't trigger it when you land there normally. Let's see. Yeah, if if, if someone lands on the tech, whoever owns it gets it, the resource... Two, you remember? Oh, yeah, you've developed on TZ and opponent's text. You actually discussed that in the, when you. That was on that. the alternate. Oh. I didn't know it was on those as well. I missed mm. that when I was reading. What's well, a lot to read? So, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my first action so I could choose one of my ships. His secondary ability allows me to take one of the face up missions so that's nice it's like having an extra action because normally i would have to place a ship there to do that so for who merchant yeah or activist okay so i'm gonna go here and collect one scientific Scientist knowledge disc. I only got one because I do not have a ship yet for that primary ability. You got here. He's trading two of the military for two of the scientists. It's actually smart. I didn't think to do that. <laughs> oh, wait. I need to use his ability. Forgot to do this. I talked about it, and then I didn't do it. Take that one. It happens with age. <laughs> it's hard when you're talking and trying to play a game, like explaining and playing. It's hard to focus. Only one trade one. Here, collect one of the cultural knowledge disks. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. Go here, I'm building the tech. Okay. I only have to pay one. It's my special. Oh, okay. It oh, is yeah. So he only has to pay one scientist knowledge just because of special ability. And he used the you have to use the same ship of that crew member to, to take advantage. So now when I or he lands on that, he will get that resource. Okay. So we've done all of our actions. So now we refresh um 
recover and reset. No one's in limbo. So any time zone that does not have a ship or a drone on an action spot gets refreshed, meaning the top card goes to the bottom and the top card is now turned over. If there's no ship here, this also gets refreshed. You take the bottom card, put them on the bottom of the deck, slide those down and turn over a new card for the top. And we bring all of our ships back and put them on our crew members. You're first. Okay. So I'm still first player. Oh, wait. I'm going to go here and collect two more of these politician discs. Go go here, click this, and we'll build. Actually, no. I have to go here. Or, no, I'm going to go here and build. You can't go there and build. What are you doing? Oh, right here. I mean. <laughs> so you only have to pay one for yep. that one? Yeah. That's a good ability. I know. Put your drone on here. Oh, do we refresh or we wait till then? No, you refresh. All right. Put your drone on there. Okay, so. Okay, and I've completed my first mission. So I have to be on the fourth time zone. I have to pay two cultural and four politician. So that's everything you have to pay. And then I move my ship. Can you find 4C for me? I get to turn this over and I get to choose which one I want to use, and I move my ship to 4C. Let's see, so I can either get scientific. I am gonna put it on the scientific side. So I put my drone on there, and I get to collect this twice. Um, I only get one each time because I don't Actually, is that the right ship for it? No, it's my other ship. If this had been my ship for my, oh, I don't have one yet, for my scientist, which I don't have yet, um, I would have got two and two, but I get one and one, one for my drone and one for my ship. My turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. And that gives us both an extra action that we can use. Let's see. Okay. And we're done with all of our actions. So we refresh the time zones that don't have a ship on them. This one has a ship, so we don't do anything with the missions. No one's in limbo. And then we just gather our ships back, but we leave our drones on the um, tech and the alternate time zones to show ownership. Can you hand me my ships? I can't reach them without reaching over you. Little dinosaur hands. Arms. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting to take a butterfly effect mission cards. I'm not going to remind you. I know. I keep forgetting to do that. I know. Okay. I'm not here to help you. I it's know. It's a game. <laughs> so I'm going to... Recruit... Put. 
still surprised she hasn't assassinated me yet. And I get to... I'm gonna grab this one. Okay, and I grabbed Katherine Johnson. She's a visionary. And her secondary abilities, when I recruit on a time zone, when I move to recruit time zone location, I may look through the deck and choose which crew member to recruit or tech to develop. Oh, you moved here, right? So yeah. I, so I get it. You get one of those resources. And. There you have plenty of those. Check go. Okay, and I am going to do. And you're able to use any crew member that you recruit, you were able to use to ship that round, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to go, can you place me on the alternate time zone? So I will get four scientific knowledge disks. Oh, so you get two extra for it? Two, because it's on... The same primary, and you get to do it twice. I get to do it for the drone. Mm. Okay, so let's see. I think you're building a lot of tech. Okay. Did you pay? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see why. His mission card requires him to have two of this type and one of this type tech. Are you in time zone five? Mm -hmm. Oh. So as soon as he goes in time zone five, he'll be able to complete that mission. Okay, so I'm going to... That's not really worth it because it's just guaranteed, so... I'm gonna go here and get one military. Okay. And that is all of our moves. So right now I have an extra, one more extra action than he has. Do those? Oh, sorry. So they're pondering. Yep, I was. I didn't do that one. Oh. And no one's in limbo. We just grab all our ships, put them back on the corresponding crew member. And I go first. I'm going to grab the two. Assassinate. Okay. And he gets the first player token. Did you grab your... Oh. Knowledge disk. Did you complete your mission? I'm not going to complete it. Oh. I'm waiting. Why would I gotcha. give up the... I thought that's why you assassinated me. No. I know. I thought... I assumed totally that's what you were doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Recruit. Get my drone. My turn. Mm -hmm. So 
I got a cultural because he landed online that I have tech built. I don't think you can see that tech built, but um, you put them outside of the time zone. There's two on top that we've built that you can't see. Okay, and here. Have you used all of your actions? Yeah. I don't think you can see it still. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we refresh. And I can pay, let's see, that one is the I need to pay one knowledge disc of that type to get that one out of limbo. Definitely worth it. We take our ships back. And he goes first because he stole the first player marker from me. He recruited a crew member and paid the two um, knowledge. Oh, so I get I got resource too, so I'm gonna Yeah. So that's hard to remember. Okay, I'm gonna recruit this crew member. And it's Alexander the Great. He's a strategist. Um, when I complete a butterfly effect mission, I gain two free knowledge discs of choice. Pretty cool. And I get to take one of the, if I want, I'm going to take that one. So I've got all three butterfly effect mission slots filled, um, so I can't take any more. I think I can replace them if I want. I right here. I just so change it if I see there. one I want instead, but I don't imagine I would do that. I'm going to get one of these. All right. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not going to be doing it, so there's no use looking it up. Okay. Did you get your extra resource for a thing? Yep. Okay. I have two actions left. Oh, you got a full crew. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I needed to pay, I needed to pay three, so I paid two of any other kind, correct? Mm -hmm. I have to pay two of another kind, I only had two military, so I needed to pay two of a different kind, correct? For what? To make for, up for that third one? You have to, you, were you recruiting him? Yeah. I don't think you do that with recruit, you have to have the exact amount. They must match. Oh, I didn't have three. Instead, swap a new lane for an existing. I didn't have three to recruit this one. Yeah, you have to have, I needed three. No, you only needed two. Oh, because I need first. three. So I can't do that. This was my third crew member. Oh, yeah, it is it's two. two. I can't do that. So I need to take this one back. And I need to do a different action with him. Have you went yet? Yeah. What? Okay, so I will then go here and just grab that one, and then I'll do it anyway um, here. Well, didn't you originally grab one for when you went there? This one. Yeah, but then you already grabbed one when you originally went there? No. Oh. Uh -uh. I was on this action. I just now went to that action, then this. It took me two actions instead of one to do it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, luckily, I had extra ships. I have two more actions left. Mm 
I'm going to go here and I get four sci scientists. And then I'm going to go here. Oops. And I'm going to trade three for three. You can do any three. Um, I'm going to be doing the refresh. I'm going to get the cultural. Okay. Okay, so we refresh. I'm still first player. There you go. Your ships. Okay. So let's see. here so I get one of these and one of these. I didn't remove oh you oh, did go there. Sorry. I forgot to put my do I have a ship okay I'm gonna assassinate so move that one please and I will take the. So is that going to get another one since you moved there? I guess. I don't know. I, I assume yes. I would think so. And I get the first player token. Yeah, we're not sure about that. So, okay. But I'm taking it. So it's your go. Who am I to argue? <laughs> Did you take it when I went here? Uh, no. So. It's hard to remember that. I get to reboot that for free then the round. Mm. Are you sure? At the end of the round, you may recover a crew member from the limbo for free. The medic can't use this power if they are in limbo. Oh, if it's any other ship but theirs. Yeah, yeah. any ship but theirs. Good to know, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> I will be uh, making sure that's the one I assassinate from now on. I'll just make sure that it's not anywhere <laughs> you can. You can stop me. I can stop. <laughs> okay, I'm over here, and so I have to pay, what, three? So three of these, since it's my next one. Okay, I'm going. Oh, what are you doing? I have to flip it. You got me all frazzled. <laughs> so I'm going here. I'm going to recruit that tech, and I just completed a mission. Where's my drone? Okay. Um, I completed this mission. I have four of the cult of the cultural. So you get rid of this one. Um. Oh, I didn't get. Wait, I didn't grab that when you went there need to grab that. I'm going to get rid of, actually it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll, I'll just get rid of this one. The one I just built. <laughs> so that goes on the bottom of the deck. And I had to be on time zone two, which I am. So I should move my ship to 2C. So that replaces the one that's already there. And then I turn that one over because it's completed. And I get to choose which side I want to use. What is that? And any, all the symbols are on the back of the book. I've not seen this one. It's a star. When you move to a recruit TZ location, one knowledge disc that you pay to recruit a crew member can be of any knowledge type. You may recruit one face up crew member from any TZ deck. One knowledge disc that you pay can be of any knowledge type. Oh, so that allows you to recruit any member for one knowledge disc of any type. Then we would both be able to use that. Mm -hmm. But I only, that's not really beneficial. So I think I'm going to do this one. Can you put that over there? 
I don't want to help you out that much. My turn. Gonna move um, right here. And so I get a resource. And I'm gonna recruit her. That's my final one. Okay. So I'm gonna go here. Recruit. Oh, actually, I do have another one. Okay, so I remember I recruited this oh, one. Oh, I get two free knowledge just in my choice for um, completing that mission. So I still have more, I forgot. Oh no, that has to be with, never mind, never mind. It has to be with this ship. Yeah, I saw two ships. That was different. Or no, is that, it doesn't have to be with this ship, does it? What? When you complete a butterfly effect, you gain two free knowledge discs. So it could be just as soon as I complete it, right? It doesn't have to be with that ship. Mm -hmm. That's how I read it. Okay. My turn. Got two ships. It was my turn, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to do this one. So, let's see. It's hard to remember all the little abilities and everything to remember to do them, <laughs> the more crew members you have. Are you having a hard time remembering to do it all? Mm -mm. All right, here, and since it's the same one, I get this. I get two of these. And I get to do a butterfly effect I get to grab. So I'm going to grab this, this one. Okay, my last ship. I'm going to go there and I'm going to trade two, I can trade any, any three for a three of oh. equal amount. So I get uh, something. So I'm going to trade, no I do, that's me. Oh yeah. So I get three, I like running right my train of thought here. <laughs> okay, I get those three. And I also get a choice of, so I'll take that one. Am I, okay. My turn. Oh, oh I just have uh, one. Oh, you have five crew members now? Mm -hmm. Did you pay four? Yep. For that last one? Sure did. Okay, so there's not much we can do. Remember, you can go to the alternate reality too if you need that. What's it give you? The cultural. Oh, okay. I don't need that, and that'll okay. help you. How does it help me? I don't really need that. I just didn't know if you needed that. Oh, here. Okay. Gain one. And I gain another. I'm about to win the game next turn anyway. All right. <laughs> okay, so well, we I'm going to at least refresh? complete my mission then. <laughs> so it's not a total sweep. <laughs> so one, two of these, and this one. Are you on the time zone you need to be on? Um, five. Yep. Oh, okay. So he's tr turning me in. I shouldn't have said anything so it could be a total domination. <laughs> so he's completing his first mission. <laughs> and we refresh. Okay, and the purple. And you get to open an alternate reality if you for that mission. And the mission was five B. Hopefully it removes one of yours. You don't get to do it right now. I'm first player. 
Okay, so you get to, are you paying to get that out of limbo? It's free. I got two. Oh, okay. Medics. Okay. Take our ships back. And can you hand me that one drone? I can't reach that. That's too far. Well, oh. right there. Oh. All right. And um, I refreshed this. Did you refresh all those? Yep. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to win the game right now. All I need to do is go to time zone three. <laughs> 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 and I grab my two, not that it matters. <laughs> so I need four politician discs, two military See, I focus on just getting the ones where all you need are knowledge discs. Those are the easiest. And I need to be in time zone three. And I completed it. So the game is over. Hey, at least I got one. <laughs> so he completed his his mission right before because he knew I was going to win. But um, So that's the game. You can see it's very easy mechanics. It's just... Um, Taking as many actions as you have ships and um, memorizing your uh, first uh, um, abilities and your second. Mainly, it's memorizing your sec yeah. secondary ability because the, they call it the primary ability, but really it's just matching symbols and you get one or two. Yeah. That's there's really nothing they do other than gain you extra knowledge discs, but the secondary ability are what are really come in handy. And as you can see, gave you gave us major advantages in different ways. Um, so we didn't assassinate that much. We fi figured out the first game, the assassination, even though it's there, really the only advantage to assassination. Well, yours is, wouldn't benefit because I had two. Right, but you know, like it didn't cost him anything, so it was no reason for me to assassinate him other than to just get that first player marker. That is nice to have because you have. First choice of any action, if there's something that you really want to make sure, like when you're getting ready to complete a mission, to keep them from, take, if they are paying attention, they could take take the spot that you could use um, and maybe only leave the action that you wouldn't be able to take. So it's that's, to me, the main advantage. And it does eat up one of their knowledge discs, but that's, as you can see, the knowledge discs are really easy to get so that's really not that much of a hindrance to cost one knowledge we have no problem building crew members it was very easy to obtain the knowledge disc and you could see how quickly i completed those missions all i needed was knowledge discs so that was um very simple in that way um i i believe when you have a three or four player game it would probably be more difficult because you have more people in your way. Yeah, plus you're assassinate. More. And yeah, there's two assassinations. There's more, um, there's different actions like that one. Uh, I don't know what that question mark is. It doesn't show it on the back there. I don't even know what that means. Well, I think it's maybe any, isn't that any? Probably. Probably any knowledge disc. But I could see how in more players, this game would be more challenging in a two player game. And honestly, I don't feel it's that challenging. It's more of a race to see who can get there first because we had no issues achieving any of our goals that we needed to achieve. Well, I don't know about that. What are you talking about? I only achieved one, you achieved three. You weren't working towards that though. I was, that's the game. <laughs> well, this actually helped me yeah. Being able to grab a card every time because I could just choose yeah. without having to use an action. See, I was able to obtain one of those I activists could, I could later. choose like any any of the missions I wanted yeah. at any time any time I used this ship. So it was that gave me a major advantage. So I got all the easy ones. Yeah, the beginning. But every someone's gonna have that card every game. So that's what I'm saying. It wasn't that challenging. Yeah, some of the cards are more beneficial than others. Like, right. I would say the activists are very strong in this game because they allow you to obtain a mission for free. Yeah. So 
hopefully this um, will help you to decide if this is a game you want to back. Again, it is on Game Found right now while we're filming this video. So Anthony will put that link in the description so you could check that out. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was um, uh, helped you to understand the game. And um, thank you for watching. Please give us a like. Feel free to leave a comment. If you're not already, we hope you'll subscribe to our channel and click that bell so you can get all of our content. We put out a lot of content. Um, we have a ton of games in our queue, probably like 80 more. Now we're up down to 70. Oh, well, we're down to 70. <laughs> we have 70 games that have been sent to us to do, uh, um, well, he's done all the unboxings, I yeah. believe. Yeah. So to do a playthrough and review. The playthroughs is what um, takes a while because we have to learn the games, play it, learn it. Hopefully play it right. <laughs> we try our best. Mm. But um, thank you again, and we look forward to seeing you next time.